The oldest version of the ancient text called Massacat Kelam, Treatise of the Vessels, was included in the Hebrew book Emek Halcha, published in Amsterdam in 1648. A later version, published in 1876, was almost identical to that older version. As reported in Livciensa this week, James de Villa, a professor at the University of St. Andrews, has recently translated the complete treatise into English for the first time. According to de Villa, the treatise claims that the treasures of King Solomon were concealed by a number of Levites and prophets. Some were hidden in various locations in the land of Israel and in Babylonia, while others were delivered into the hands of the angels Shamshiel, Michael, Gabriel and perhaps Sariel, the text apparently stops short of revealing the exact location of the ark and the other treasures, saying that it shall not be revealed until the day of the coming of the Messiah son of David. De Villa stresses that the treatise is less of a factual account of the treasure's whereabouts than a fictional work based on a number of different legends. As such, it is sometimes inconsistent and confusing in its structure. The treatise does provide a lyrical description of Solomon's treasures, including 77 tables of gold, and their gold was from the walls of the Garden of Eden that was revealed to Solomon, and they radiated like the radiance of the sun and moon, which radiate at the height of the world. According to de Villa, the treatise of the vessels closely parallels another ancient text. The Copper Scroll, one of the Dead Sea Scrolls found near the site of Qumran in the West Bank. That ancient metallic scroll dates back some 1,900 years and also discusses the fate of a hidden treasure, though it is not known to which treasure it refers. The newly translated text states that the treasures of Solomon were recorded on a tablet of bronze similar to the metallic copper scroll. Both texts also refer to vessels or implements including artifacts made of gold and silver. As de Villa told Live Science, this may be coincidental, but it may also reflect an ancient tradition of recording important information on metal, which was far more durable than papyrus or parchment. According to the Bible, Moses had the Ark of the Covenant built to hold the Ten Commandments at the command.